Hello YouTube, I'm the White Chicken, and I'm here with, not Call of Duty, but it is a first person shooter, it is Battlefield 4. So, um, I got this game like a couple days ago, but it is, it's pretty fun, it is fun, it's boots to the ground, so I know a lot of people want that back for Call of Duty, even, it, you know, it is coming back for the next Call of Duty, or well, with the next Call of Duty bundle with COD 4 Remastered, so Boots to the Ground is coming back to Call of Duty. Um, but, yeah, so, this, um, actually, is ju this is just Boots to the Ground. Um, it's, it is, oh, that's not Fighting Zone. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm coming back. Um, this game is fun. The only, like, I still, I would, I prefer Call of Duty more. I mean, I I do think Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty a little bit better. Um, it is fun though. It is like I do like boost jumps, but b playing boots on the ground again, it's a nice change of pace. You know, kind of like how um, boost jumping felt fresh whenever it first came out. Now boots to the ground kind of feels fresh again because it's. I mean, I haven't done played like this in a while. So, even though I do play uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 every now and then. But, anyway. Now, the, the main problem I have with this game, like, the main thing that upsets me and I think is its biggest flaw, is its user interface. I feel like its user interface is just terrible. I mean, I know it's opinion. It's an opinion. But, personally, I think it is absolutely awful. I really, really hate the user interface of this game. There's nobody in here. Why do I keep going in? There? I really, yeah, I really don't like the user interface. For one, you have to get into a game. You have to get into a game in order to create a class. Now look at this. Look at this. So I just died. Well, for one, after you die, it takes a really long time to respawn, which isn't the biggest deal. It's just a little bit annoying. Um, but look at this. This is where you create your class. You go into the middle of a game, and you create it this way. Okay. Like, seriously, you can create your class in the middle of the game, which is kind of cool. Like, I mean, that's kind of cool that you can create your class. I think it's a little annoying. I, I think it could be a little bit annoying. Like, I wouldn't like that for call... I mean, I don't know. It may not be the worst, but how you can just kind of, like... You basically have an infinite class because it's like, hey, I just want to try out this new gun, or hey, I just unlocked this new gun, let's try it out right now. So, I mean, I don't know. That's opinion. That can be kind of cool, um, how you can customize your class in game. I don't really dislike that. What I dislike is that in the main menu, outside of the game, there is no create a class menu. None whatsoever. You have. You have have to go inside a game in order to create a class so if you just if you just booted up this game or you're new to this series like I am and you just kind of you're just starting out on battlefield you kind of want to learn how the classes work what all the classes have to offer what all I can do with the classes kind of learn like kind of look at the gun selections like look at all the guns that I can get and just Kind of look around, like, what gadgets and stuff that you can get. And, I mean, when you first get into it, I mean, after you play around with it for a while, you'll get quicker with it. Um, you kind of know where things are at, and you'll get quicker with it. But when you're first starting out, I mean, it can take a little bit of time to kind of learn everything about it. And that can take some time. And you have to actually get into a game... And, like, there's people running around, like, they're, you're in the middle of a game, and that's when you have to create a class. Like, even if you just kind of, like, maybe, like, in Call of Duty, you know, if you kind of maybe just unlocked a new gun, but you have to go in, like, five minutes. So you don't have time to really play a game, but you kind of want to select that new gun. You kind of want to um, equip that new gun real quick, and then you have to go eat or something. Well, you can't really do that in this game. You have to hop into a match, find a match, and then you can create your class. So, I just really think that's really annoying. Okay, I died again. That's great. 
I think that um, that whole I think they really should make a creative class menu outside the game, outside the actual game, um, and that would just be so much better because I mean I I really haven't looked I mean I kind of have looked I've looked at quite a bit into it um, into the creative class, but I'm literally like if you I mean, it's wasting game time. You can't do it in. Be I don't think you can do it in between matches like you can in Call of Duty. I don't think you can do it in between matches. So, I mean, you're wasting game time when you're creating class. It's wasting the game time. I mean, if you you want to get into the game, you know, I don't want to. Like, if you want, if you're creating a class, you can spend the first ten minutes of game creating the class, and then. And then you're you finally join the game for the first time, and it's already like 20 kills in. It's like I don't know. It bugs me. It it definitely definitely bugs me. They just need to add a little just add a menu where you can create your class outside the game. That's all they need to do. That's it. And then I will be happy, much happier. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's some more things with the user interface. I mean, it's not... I do like Call of Duty's overall inter interface better as well. Not just the creative class. I don't know. I just kind of... I think it looks better. It kind of... I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit better. Um, but, you know, besides the creative class thing, the creative class thing is my biggest annoyance with this game. That's the thing that really, really annoys me. And... Seems like a major flaw. I mean, it's also if you really think about it. Now I'm almost done with my rant. I'm almost done with my rant. But if you really think about this, think about it. That's not realistic at all. Like, why did they do it that way? It's not like if you're actually going into a battle, you don't go into the battle. The enemy is engaging on your teammates, on your comrades, on your fellow soldiers, whatever you want to call it. I mean. Like, enemies are shooting at your, um, friends and stuff, and you're sitting here choosing your weapon. Like, dude, like, what weapon am I gonna get? Like, ooh, look at this cool camo I got. Hmm, what camo do I want? Ooh, um, ooh, what gadget do I want? I, I think I really need to make my loadout now. No, you, when you go get choppered into a battle, you wanna already be in you already want to have your class set up this is kind of cool that that's cool animation I will say that's it's kind of cool call of duty melee kills are quicker you know it's it's another thing I mean the melees I'd probably overall like call of duty's a little bit better I mean the animation is cool in this game it's definitely cool animation it's cooler animation than call of duty but call of duty's a bit quicker you know I kind of like the Oh, it's a bit quicker. I thought I saw, saw something there. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. The creative class kind of bugs me. One thing I will say that I really like about this game, which I think is kind of cool, is um, its cover system. I'll see if I can... I kind of did it just a second ago. Oh, I, I just lean. I did not know you could lean. Well, apparently you can lean, too. I think you can... I don't know if it's like moving the controller or whatnot. I don't know, but I just really... I don't know. Come on. Come on. Respawn. Respawn. But, um, if you kind of look, and if you crouch down... Or, it didn't work there. Okay. Okay, it's not work. Okay. Um, let me find something else. Let me find something. Let me find something. See, look at this. If you crouch behind a cover, and you hold down aim, you will look over the cover. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm I am a fan of that. I will say I am a fan of that. Um, also another thing, if you press the touchpad, it like tries to bring up a battle log, which I don't know exactly what that is. Um, I don't know exactly what it does or anything. But uh, I'm trying to figure out how to lean. Um, how do you lean? I don't know. I don't know how you lean. But, 
Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yeah, if you press touchpad, try to bring up battle log. I don't really know what that is. But to bring up your scoreboard, you have to press start and then go to go to that. Now it doesn't take too long. I just I like the press touchpad to bring it up, pr and touch it again to bring it down. I like that. Um, I don't know. And this game's made by the same people who made Battlefront, and Battlefront's interface is fine, you know, you can create your, I mean, you can, well, Battlefront doesn't really have classes, um, but you can kind of choose your gun and choose your, I mean, it somewhat does, it has your cards, but you choose all that outside of the game, and, you know, and this user interface is just fine, you know, and seeing the scoreboard, I think you touch and hold the touchpad, and, I don't know, it feels, I don't know, I feel like the interface in Battlefront is better than the one in Battlefield, I don't know, I'm just, it's not that big, especially after you get your class somewhat made, it's a little bit better, um, it just doesn't bother me as much, but, especially when you first start ranking up and stuff, it's kind of annoying, but, I don't know, um, I'll get off that rant, guys, I'm sure you guys are probably annoyed, but let's just kind of, play the game now because it is fun it is definitely fun I'm using the AN 94 I think it is um a 94 it this gun was in black ops 2 which is kind of cool it was a really popular gun in black ops 2 I just died somehow okay uh, okay I'll accept that revive oh come on how how it's bullcrap. Um, I got a M416. Okay. Um, sight, medium range. Let's try it. Since, I mean, we can always take it off in the middle of the game. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Don't like it. I shouldn't, I mean, I knew it was medium range because I went over the medium range tab, but, um, I just don't like medium range. I don't, I, like, I'll, I only really like using long scopes on snipers. Other than that, I just like red dot. And then the other, the other scope I have. Oh, see, now, I was gonna, um, that's another problem. Um, uh, what was it? brain fart sorry um that's another problem is that i was gonna take that scope off because i didn't want to use it anymore but the game ends so now i can't take the scope off until my next match which i will do another match but it's like i mean you can see your progression but there's no there's no create a class like i don't understand why there's no create a class View soldier. Oh wait, no. I think that's. I don't know what I just did. Okay. I don't. Know. Um. It's just. It's just annoying how there's no. Create class. Menu. It's really really annoying. And like this, you can't really do anything in between games. Like there's like no options in between games. Call of Duty, you can create your class because my score trees. You know, Blah, 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 I don't know. That's the only thing. I'll just say this one last time, and I'll try to remember not to mention it again. This game is fun. It is really good. But its interface, I'm not a fan of. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you guys are tired of that. Oh, uh, no, come on. So, A in 94, let's do this. I may even, after, I may even try a little bit of sniping. I might, I don't know. I'm not that good at sniping. Okay, I just got shotgunned. I hate shotguns. I absolutely despise them. I hate them so much. So much, and you guys know that. You guys definitely know that. Um, so let's just, let's just give it a shot. Let's just give sniping a shot. Why not? here I 
Yeah, I can't snipe, guys. I, I can't. Nope. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Whatsoever. I'm so bad at sniping. Come on. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Come on. Oh, baby! <gasps> Quick scope! Oh, I just got a snipe. Holy crap, guys. I just did it. I just, I just quick scoped somebody. Got a quick scope. Let's go. Let's go. That's sweet. Love that. All right. Come on. Oops. Has some, uh, and zoom in and stuff. Oh, headshot. Let's go. Snipe. This is the best I've done sniping in my whole career in this game. A whole two days. But you may think that is very sad because I've only gotten like two kills. And you are right. That is very sad. But it is sadly true. But, you know, that's okay. It's okay. The only way to get better is to practice. You know, even the best snipers ever started off sucking, I'm sure. You know. They weren't born with the ability to snipe, you know. They weren't born just, like, picked up a controller and was, like, doing 360 wah no scopes or whatever. Oops, I went back there again. That's my teammate. Come on. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No. And then I was really upset today because I was saying how you can, like, get the deagle and everything. And I was, like, so excited because I've never really used the deagle. It is, I have used it on gun game because there's a gun game in this game. It's called Gun Master, and it takes two weapons to cycle. So you have to get... Or it takes two kills to cycle your weapon, so you have to get two kills with a weapon, and then you go into the next weapon. Um, but the deagle was in that, and I was like, dude, this is fun. Like, I knew it was a pretty popular pistol, and I wanted to try it because, I mean, I kind of... My first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1, so I just never played a game that had a deagle. Um, or Desert Eagle, whatever you want to call it. Um... I think in this game it's called Deagle. But I saw it was in this game. I was like, dude, this is so awesome. I want to use the Deagle. And then it was like, nope, you need DLC. I was like, ah, but it's in Gun Game or Gun Master. Why can't I use it? I can use it in Gun Master. It's like, nope. Sorry. I think you need DLC. I, I didn't know because, like, I saw it in the, in the creative class. It was in the pistol section. But, um in the ranking or in the progress menu where you can just kind of see your progression you can't edit your classes but you can see your progression with unlocking I looked at sidearms and I didn't see the deagle there so I googled it and I think you need DLC I was like <sighs> but let me ask you this question I think is the deagle or desert eagle is the is the deagle in COD 4 I think it is oh I hit someone there Dude, I may have... Yes, let's go. I was trying to look at the... I was trying to look at the uh, kill feed. I thought I could have gotten a clat there. But I did not. did not. That is okay. That is okay. But yeah, is the um, deal in COD 4 um, where I can use the... Cause I just kind of want to use the deagle. I mean, I know it's a popular gun. It looks really cool and fun. I don't know. I want to use it. I want to use it, man. But I think it may be in COD 4. So I, I want to get the uh, Legacy Edition. So with the COD 4 Remastered, like I'm going to try to get that um, as soon as possible whenever it comes out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the day of, but hopefully I'll get it pretty soon. 
Um, but yeah, I think it might be in that game. I'll probably Google it after I finish this video up. After we finish this game up and after I end this video, I'll probably Google it. Probably Google it. Um, but, you know. Alright, come. Where you guys at? Where are you guys at? Holy crap, I just got destroyed. The LSAT. It's another gun from Black Ops 2. This game just stole all the guns from Black Ops 2. Like, come on, man. Come on. I mean, if they're real guns, they're real guns. It's like, technically, Black Ops 2 stole them from real life, but I don't know. I don't really... I'm not much of a... I mean, I don't know much facts about guns. Come on, are you kidding me? Do you have to zoom out to, like, bolt back? Or does it bolt while you're... Because I don't think it bolts back whenever you're zoomed in. No, it doesn't. It does not bolt back automatically when you're zoomed in. That is dumb. It should totally do that. But, eh, that's okay. It's okay. Oh, shoot. Are you joking? Like, come on. Like, seriously, why do I suck at sniping? Probably because I don't do it that often. I don't know. I don't know, but it's fun. It's fun. That's what matters. Alright, let's see if we can find some people here. Oh, we're halfway. They're like almost. They've almost won. It's, it's unfortunate. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, I just got obliterated by that guy. Just got obliterated. That's nice. I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. Now let's get him back. Let's kill him. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill him. Where is he at? Are you Are you joking? Come on. Come on. Seriously. Just re respawn, please. There we go. Respawning. Alright, let's do this. Let's get another we gotta get at least another kill. Like at least one more. Oh Let's go. Got another kill. Didn't even, I don't think I ever really saw that guy. I just kind of shot in smoke or whatever. I think there was smoke around there. I don't know. I just kind of shot. And I got a kill. I was like, yes, let's go. I cannot see. Oh, we lost. We got obliterated. We definitely got obliterated. But, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this Battlefront Oh, sorry, sorry, not Battlefront. Battlefield, man, that's so confusing. Like, did they have to do that? Battlefield, Battlefront. I don't know. Anyways, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this Battlefield video, my first one. Um, Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya!